in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, the Microsoft of .NET Framework class library um, there are about 13,000 classes in the ASP.NET Framework and um, the reason why is because Microsoft has I mean the Microsoft developers they have made our life easier by um, building all these um, classes to make development easier so um, the ASP.NET you need to realize that it has two parts the two most important parts of the uh, the framework is the class library the framework class library and the common language runtime which I'm going to be talking about the two uh, for example, let me show you what I mean by uh, classes in case you don't know what classes are. So let me go to one of these uh, could be for example, even the page itself, the page itself is a class. You can see that um, we declare a class which is a partial class of the page. So page is a class and um, button I can declare a button class as can you see that button? then it's a btn equals to new them button so uh, it's been a long time I've declared a class so I'm not sure if that's correct let me see yeah that's fine so since we didn't get an error that's the way you declare so button is serve as a class and um, the reason why we have classes is because remember we're going to be needing buttons in our application so if we have to create <laughs> a button ourselves all the time then I think that's edX so we ha we can easily use the button class so that means since I created since I've created a new a new instance of a button because this is what is this is doing is creating the new instance of a button so now I can access the methods I can access the method of the button I can say button dot you say I can say button dot text so I can uh, set the property and methods of a button as such so we get this uh, I told you I always forget the names for this thing it's called the IntelliSense we get this IntelliSense which gives us the um, a quick access to the class methods and um, uh, class methods and properties so there are thousands and thousands about 13,000 classes that are available in ASP.NET framework which you can use to build uh, classes some of these uh, classes include a file class the file class file which uh, allow you to uh, create application where you can use the class to check to see if there's a file um, check a file on your hard drive there's also classes that has to do with graphic class which you can use to work with uh, images so you can use those classes to draw um, diagrams like circles and images and stuff uh, there is another class a uh, very important class um, SMTP class that you can use to um send email so all these classes they've been they've been they've been provided by Microsoft in order to so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel you can just like this like if as you can see here now I needed a button so I just created a button so I don't have to know the code to create the button and you know draw a button on the page because all I have to do is just call the class uh, and because there because we have so many classes so Microsoft has uh, arranged these classes to uh, they've placed all the classes in what is called a namespace so uh, for example all these things that all the things that you're use, looking at at the top here they are all namespaces what happened is because we have so many classes uh, I don't know how to give an example but if you look at a car itself um, everything has been arranged in under the hood of the so the hood itself 
is a namespace because everything that makes the car moves all the electronics and all the mechanical stuff everything has been packed together and placed inside a package which is under your hood so that's one so for example like, like this uh, link like the data namespace now which you import uh, this one contains all the classes all, all the data classes for example let's see how to import more classes all these things you don't if you don't know how to use them now don't worry I'll show you using system if you press the dot button you see all the classes that you are oh, sorry all the namespaces that you have we have the thread threading do you know the threading this is good to do it's when you want to click create an application that that can um, use the threading classes and the threading classes how do I explain this you know when your application actually uh, do more than one stuff at a time okay we have the timer class we have the um, security class the runtime let me see what the one that you must be IO this IO class is the one that is got to do with file the IO is input and output so you can save file on your hard drive you can also uh, draw file out of your file system you have the drawing cloud uh, sorry the drawing namespace uh, collection the collection has got to do with all the maps um, which uh, I hope we get to in um, most of these videos so uh, that's how you get to the namespaces so I'm gonna delete that because I don't need any namespace so there are three ways to add a namespace and this is one of the example using you can use that one to add a namespace to your application also you can use the uh, the page directive that I show you earlier on here you can add a um, namespace by going doing and say I'll show you, you use the import if you use the import and you can just say namespace namespace equals to uh, for example remember maybe we need the uh, you can say system dot net dot mail so so that's our namespace that we imported so we can either use this on this page which is going to be particularly for that page or we can go to the code behind file and uh, using the same we can use this one or if you want a namespace for every of your pages then you can add it to the um, what's called the web configuration file the web configuration file has a special place where you can add your uh, let me find it it's supposed to be the namespace system.web or the system.web system okay where is it okay under the system.web we can add uh, yes we can add the namespace like so you can say pages pages then uh, inside the pages we had namespace as you can see we get in the um, so now inside here you can say hard you see then the namespace that you need namespace we get the intelligence so now you had your name just like we did in the last you can just say system dot um, net dot mail so now you do not need every time you need to send email from any of your pages you do not need to add this namespace anymore because it's now already been added to the web dot configuration file so any of your pages will be able to access this namespace from now on um, this might not I might not have explained this thing properly if you think I haven't if you drop me an email or a comment on the blog then um, I will explain better 
Thank you.